What's up guys, Tom Tom here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna look into a new figures. This is the Transformer Legacy Deluxe Class Kickback. This is the G1 Kickback as you can see. So we all know the characters, let's get to him. So here we have Kickback, the Hopper Insecticons and this is his G1 look. That is all I can say. I mean like from this angle he looks pretty decent. I especially enjoy the lower arm section being purple and the uppers being black. I kind of like the ideas of the gloves thingy kind of situation we got here. So that is really nice. The overall of this guy is like this is the G1 kickback. That is for sure. So I think now let's get to the details of him. So here we have him and as you can see the face scope is pretty nice. I like the smirking the face of him and the paint is really nice, you got a lot of silver paint and some red looking like sunglasses on, that is really nice. Then you got this antenna of him, they are made from rubbers. So that is really nice, avoid from being broken. And that is it, and now it's the chest. I think the main attraction of this guy would be the chest. So as you can see, first up we got a Decepticon logos on the chest section here. And then we have the clear yellow piece of plastic here, that is for the original design. And inside, they, they actually painted silver. So you can see all this really nice mechanical details. And there's this tap over this joint under under his belly. So first, I thought that it's like a joint and he could be open. Actually, you can't open that, so don't do that. Because if you turn him to the side right there, you'll see this is actually locked into places. So I don't know why they did that. That is pretty weird. Now for the arms, you don't have any, there's no paint in it, you just got some black plastic with some details over it. But then you got this really nice wing section in the hopper. So let's just look at that details. I in, I absolutely in love these details, just look at all that detailing. This is so insect light and I must say I like it, I like it a lot. Now moving down to his torso and there's nothing much. The leg, you know, this is the G1 kickback. So. You got a little bit of pain here and there on the knees, some vent, and that would be it. Overall, I think this is like the G1 looking, you know, minimum detailings. That is, in my opinion, quite disappointed. I would expect uh, figures at this day and age have some more pit and more details, even though they are G1 or not. Okay, so now for some comparison. Here we have this Legacy Kickback next to the Titan Returns Legend Kickback. As you can see, since the Titan Returns is a legend, so they are obviously different in scale. And you, as you can see, the Titan Returns does have a lot more keyboards than the Legacy versions. But in a better way, and I will explain later. But there you go, just to see this guy. At this robot mode here, I think the Legacy version does a better job. But then we have to judge a Transformer for the overall experience, right? So for the accessories of this kickback, here we first have his gun. And I like this gun a lot. I like the stock, I like the barrel, and I I enjoy the magazine section here. You gotta see, this is like, they painted a lot, so they painted silver and then painted pur metallic purple on it. And you can see the magazine here does make the guns look like a Thompson, which is like really cool. I enjoy the Transformer gun that does actually function like a gun, you know, you have the magazines and barrels and everything. So to attach it, you're just gonna plug it onto his hand, like so. And that is really nice. And for you can plug it onto any holes onto his body, they are the same. So that is this for the gun. For, and for weapon storage, of course, you can plug it onto his back right here. So yeah, decent weapon storage. And for the main accessories of this guy, you got this pair of huge murder blade. They are really nice. They are like purple. Maybe it resemble, resembles a dark energy of some sort. And there are two big sword that you can plug it onto his hand. You have like this tab, you can actually tap it any, any way you like. This is the siege thing. And this is a cool blade, nice detailing. And you can store it onto his robot mode by removing them. And as you can see there are these tabs over here. They're gonna clip onto his wing. That and yeah, decent weapon storage. And I enjoy this weapon storage because from this angle, it does look like he's like wearing the sword with him, like carrying it with him. 
That is really nice in a humanoid way. And one special thing about this pair of sword is that they can actually combine to another. They have a lot of tabs and everything. And um, I have my skid and RC, but I haven't got the time to put them on the video yet. And they do have their own like clear weapons that have a lot of holes and joints. So I suspect that this at uh, this line, the one nice thing about this line would be you'll be able to combine the weapons of each or transformer to one another, and that is like really cool. And I think that the Decepticon is gonna form a big sword sword thing for Megatron here, and I, I really look forward to that. That is like well, that would be really nice. So now let's get to some articulation. So for articulation, first up, this guy got only got a bow joint for his head, but it's fixed, so it's kind of limited. So this is like the only articulation you would get. For the arms, you can uh, swing it out, and then rotation. You got a bicep swivel, and this is the bend of the elbow. And for this section here, this actually don't tap in together. So for the transformation sake, so actually you just gonna be it like that, and it's you get hollow pit piece all the time. And the hands, uh, this is the only articulation you get out of the hand, but like pretty decent because you can actually pose it holding, raising the sword. So that is quite nice. And you got a waist swivel. And then this is a kick to the front, kick to the back. Kind of limited because of wing, but you can always raise the wing up for more artic articulation range. This is a split, really nice. You got a bice, uh, you got a thigh swivel. This is the bend of the knee, 90 degrees. Uh, this is a feet movement, the toe movement, and you got a pivot, which is nice. I mean, articulation-wise, I expect this guy to be good since he does not have any kibbles or anything at all, and since the transformation is like super simplified. So now let's transform this guy and see what he's like. Finish transforming kickback. My expression was like, what the f what? Is this a transformer of any kind? This is like, you lie him down, turn his head around, flip his wing, flip out his arms, remove his feet and his hand, and then you got a grasshopper. Do that doesn't even look like a grasshopper. I mean like, what the f what? This is I'm so disappointed. I mean like, what? What? I mean, I'm gonna bring in the Titan Returns one. This is, this guy is smaller and cheaper. And yet, just look at that grasshopper. It is more even. Look, it looks just. This is what a grass, a, 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 a transformer, a transforming grasshopper should be looking like. Not this piece of shit right here. I'm done talking to this about this. I mean, this is all you got in the grasshopper mode. So you got the leg extended, and like I mean, like the back of the leg is the only new details over here. And yeah, that is it. See, that's it. There. And <laughs> I mean, like, what the f is this? Shit? This is so funny. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and <laughs> I mean, just comparing the two is like. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> and yeah, you can um, attach the weapon onto his hopper form. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I dropped one of his sword. <laughs> you can attach it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> the gun, you're just gonna plug it right here again. <laughs> this is such a gun. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm so far. Uh, for some size comparison in the robot mode, I'm gonna bring in the uh, <laughs> barricade. <laughs> As you can see, this is a one giant hopper. <laughs> uh, 
I think I, I think I should stop here. There's nothing, hey, nothing else to say. So should you get this figure? No. Okay, I'm gonna be serious now. This can be called a decent figures, not a decent transformer. I mean, like the robot is okay for the for the price point, price point and everything, but then the transformation is hilarious. The hopper mode is an abomination. So this is me slapping myself onto the face. So if they Gonna make a bombshell and a snarl. I think I'm gonna buy those two and display this guy in their robot mode because, I, in my opinion, the robot robot mode is really good. And you can buy this guy for the pair of blades. And hopefully, in the end, they end up combined to Megatron's great weapon. And I think that is like the only reason you should buy this guy. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Turn on out. <laughs>